Events of September 11, 2001 forever changed our world. Among the many thousands of issues it has raised, two questions have risen to the top. What is Islam? And what do Muslims believe? The Straight Way of Grace Ministry was founded to answer these tough questions, as well as to prepare the hearts of Christians to share the gospel lovingly and with compassion to their Muslim neighbors. The Straight Way of Grace Ministry was established by Usama K. Dakdak, an Egyptian-born Christian who is fluent in both English and Arabic and who holds a bachelor's degree in theology and a master's degree in missiology. Over the past several years, Usama has taken his series, Revealing the Truth About Islam, to television stations, radio stations, pulpits and classrooms all across America, equipping the church with both information and compassion in order to reach Muslims for Christ is the goal of the Straight Wave Grace Ministry. Muslim scholars claim that since its compilation over 1400 years ago, the Quran is a perfect book, unequaled in its revelation, its accuracy, and its poetry. They claim that it is the final and complete Word of God. But is that true? What if errors are to be found within its pages? Can a book that contains significant amount of mistakes be considered the infallible Word of God? In this eye-opening presentation, we will examine the many dozens of scientific, historical, biblical, theological, moral, social, and even legal errors within the Quran. Let's join you, Sama, now as we consider infallible. is the Quran. We're going to start first by the uh, geographical error in the Quran. I'm going to read a little bit story here. It's a long story. It's strange. We're going to put a little bit, few words uh, to help us to understand what Muhammad is talking about. And we come to understanding this. Is this really the word of God geographically correct? Listen to this verse first. They will ask you about Zu al Karnain. Say, I will recite to you an account of him. We establish him on the earth, and we gave him from everything away. So he followed away. Here Muhammad is talking in the Quran about the Zul Karnain in which Alexander the Great, all scholars say that Zul Karnain is Alexander the Great. Do you know that Muslims believe according to their scholar interpretation to this specific verse we read that Alexander the Great was another good prophet? He is a wicked man who is a, 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 an ancient who claimed to be a god himself who died in his young age. Muslim believe, according to the Quran, he was another good prophet. Here is a story I shared to you a little bit early about Noah's son. Let's read it together from the Quran. And it sailed on with them amid waves like mountains. And Noah called to his son, and he was apart. O oh, my son, embark with us, and do not be with the infidels. Here is Noah in the ark. And the ark starts moving, and it moves a little bit, a little bit, the middle wave, and here is Noah's son down there. He is what? In the water. Not inside the ark, not with his daddy and his family as the scripture teach, but he is outside there swimming. Listen to the rest of the story. He said, I will take refuge to a mountain that will secure me from the water. He said, No one will be secure today from the command of Allah except him on whom he will have mercy. And the waves pass between them, so he was among the drowned. Noah's son drowned in the water. As the waves came between him and his daddy, and his daddy is begging him to come, he's thinking he can go up to the top of the mountain, he'll be safe, but he is not. He drowned. What a perfect guidance. What a wonderful Quran. Read the Bible. It's very clearly, Noah have no sons drowned. As a matter of fact, when you read the stories of the Quran, which is taken out of the Bible, it is missing so much. Imagine with me, the Quran is like uh, this a piece of puzzles you put together. Thousand pieces, you take them one next to one next one, you come up with a beautiful, you end with a beautiful picture. Can you imagine if I give you a box of 1,000 pieces of puzzle, but I'm going to take out of it 800 or 750 pieces and throw them in the trash can. And I'm going to only give you seven, uh, from, from a thousand piece to 250 or, or 300 piece. And none of these pieces stick together. I mean, it's like separated one. And good luck. Tell me what is the story. Good luck to put these pieces together to tell me what Muhammad is trying to say. This is all over the Quran. For those who speak highly of the Quran, they need to read the Bible so they figure out what they do have in their hand. When you read the Quran, you can now have a clue who is Noah. 
mean? You ask the same question. I have my son, 10 years old, and I'm going to put in my left hand some Muslim scholar. I'm going to ask the same question. How old was Noah when he built the ark? My son will tell me. Muslim scholars say, only God knows. Is the Quran infallible? Is the Quran the word of God? Forget about this error, this error we're sharing. Can you really understand the Quran by simply reading the Quran? Or you need to read the Bible to understand the Quran? In every story, every story in the Quran is being copied from the Bible and changed and missing so much information. And only God knows the answer. That's why in chapter 4 in the Quran, the Quran says, no one understands its interpretation but Allah. Only God knows what does the Quran mean by what he said. So why God gives the Quran to the people? Of course, as I shared with you before, the son which Muhammad claimed that he had drowned in the flood, according to the Muslim scholar, is Kenan. And obviously, when you read the Bible, you find out Kenan, son of Ham, was not born until after the flood. So here is a Muslim scholar. Instead of they fix a problem in the Quran, they add more water to the mud of the Quran. Literally, the moment you hear the scholar interpret some verse, you know that they're going to make up something. Most likely, it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be right. It's gonna be right. The mixing of names in the Quran. Remember I told you early, Muhammad, when he tells us a story, he never really mentioned any names. Because when he tells a story and he mentions names, he gets himself in trouble. So in two different locations of the Quran, Muhammad is quoting or naming the prophets, which he claimed to be a prophet all over the Quran. And it's very strange, very strange order. I never thought that this would be verse in the Quran. You have no clue who came first and who came second in the Quran. You read the Quran, you just, it's, it's like a, a nice dish of salad. Cucumber and tomato and lettuce and all mixed we together. We spread it out and tossed on its stabilizers, and we planted in it from every weighted thing. As you read through the Quran, when Muhammad talks about the earth, always, always it is flat. As a matter of fact, in uh, Rashid, uh, Rashid, uh, Rashid uh, translation to the Quran, in his first page, he was making fun of Saudi Wahhabi about believing that the earth is flat. Wahhabi, the biggest Muslim jihadists in the world, are the one who send money to build mosques all over in America. They literally believe that the earth is flat and they made fun of those who claim that the earth is round. And they kill Rashad in his mosque or some mosque in New Jersey, 37 snap with knife because he made fun of their belief that the earth is not flat. And he tried hard in his translation to his the English Quran to make some verses said that the earth is like an egg or the earth is around and you could not find it anywhere in the Quran. The Quran clearly teaches that God spread out the earth. It is flat like a carpet. He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth and its people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy and spreads them out like a tent to live in. How did Isaiah know 700 years before Christ, that's a good 1300 years before Muhammad, that the earth is circle? Ah, oh, maybe Isaiah was a true prophet. Maybe Isaiah was inspired by the Holy Spirit and he wrote and he said in his book that the earth is circle 2700 years ago. And obviously Muhammad make an error because he claims that the earth is what? Flat. The Quran and read the Quran to know the truth about Islam. Many people have serious questions about the religion of Islam. Who are Muslims and what do they believe? Liberal Muslim scholars and clerics spin the news and continually promote Islam as the religion of peace and that Jews, Christians, and Muslims worship the same God. But is this true? Where can we turn for the answers? To truly know what a faith teaches, you have to go to the book. And for the last 1400 years, that book for Muslims is the Quran. This collection of the sayings and teachings that Muhammad claimed to have received from Allah is the sacred text for over a billion Muslims worldwide. But the Quran was written in Arabic, so how can we in the West learn what it really says? Muslim apologists have produced several English translations over the years, but these have been carefully edited to hide many of the blatant errors immoral teachings, and violent commands throughout the book. 
In the beginning of our ministry, we decided to tell the truth about Islam. Uh, therefore, we decided to buy the English translation of the Quran to use the verses which is written there. Sadly, I could not find one Quran to present the truth as it is written in the Arabic language. They sugarcoat it. They water it down. That's why we decided to go ahead and translate the Quran from Arabic to English, a true English translation. The Straight Way of Grace Ministry, in cooperation with Arab and English scholars from around the world, has produced the most accurate English translation of Islam's holy book ever printed. Read for yourself exactly what Muhammad taught his followers about war and violence, about sex and marriage, about the treatment of infidels, and more importantly, what he said about Jesus. Islam is not what I share with you or what some moderate Muslim tell you. Islam is the verses of the Quran. We must separate Muslim from Islam. There are so many wonderful Muslim people out there, but they are not true Muslim because simply they don't practice what the Quran teaches. So many American people say they accept Islam. They do not have any problem for Muslim to practice Islam in America, but same people rejecting Sharia, Islamic law. Not knowing that Sharia, Islamic law, is a practice of the verse of the Quran. This translation has been produced with the modern student in mind, with several key features including study notes for the reader, detailed notes concerning errors and contradictions in the text, careful comparisons between the Quran and biblical accounts, and references to the original sources that Muhammad borrowed from. Special sections discuss key topics such as a compilation of non-Arabic words and idioms found in the Quran, an easy-to-follow chart outlining the fulfilled prophecies concerning Jesus in the Old Testament, and a challenging gospel invitation to introduce the reader to the scientific, historical, and biblical reasons for accepting the true Jesus as the only Lord and Savior. In the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6, the Bible said, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It is time for us to read the Quran. It's time for us to find the truth for ourselves. For ordering and more information, please visit thestraightway.org. Read the Quran for yourself and understand the roots of this dangerous faith. Individual copy and case pricing are available.